There are a few mysteries surrounding the Forgotten Lands in Disney Dreamlight Valley. The green flames found throughout the biome, this house shaped like a pumpkin which we can't yet enter, and the mountains you can see in the background and on the map. I have a theory about what's to come in the Forgotten Lands and it actually has a way bigger impact on our whole valley than we'd originally thought. I'll cut right to the chase. There are two characters we're going to unlock in this biome. The first is Maleficent, and she'll have a big role in our valley. Here's how I know. There are four clues that point to Maleficent in the Forgotten Lands. First of which we have the green flames. As we've seen with the wildebeest bones in the Sunlit Plateau, the mushrooms in the Glade of Trust, and the tree stumps in the Forest of Valor, each biome has its own type of barrier object or whatever you want to call it that blocks our paths until we learn through gameplay how to remove it. They each relate to something in the storyline of that area. So by that logic, the green flames will have some correlation to either the Forgotten Lands themselves or to a character who lives there. Now, if you've watched Sleeping Beauty, you'll know that Maleficent can transform into this purple dragon who breathes green fire that looks almost identical to the flames here in the Forgotten Lands. Throughout the movie, Maleficent is often depicted with these green flames around her both the color purple and green fire, just like here in the Forgotten Lands. But there's more. The second clue I noticed is a bit more low-key. As we know, each biome has its own type of critter that you can tame as your pet. The critters found in the Forgotten Lands are ravens. And in the movie Sleeping Beauty, Maleficent is known for having a pet raven as her sidekick named Diablo. So this could be another hidden hint at Maleficent here. But the next clue is where I was convinced. In the background of the Forgotten Lands, we have these dark mountains. Maleficent lives in a place called the Forbidden Mountain, which is described as gloomy, dark, and eerie. In this picture, I definitely see the resemblance between Maleficent's home and the mountains in the Forgotten Lands. It's also so incredibly interesting that this is called the Forgotten Lands as Maleficent was always being forgotten and not invited to things that the other fairies were invited to, which is a really important plot point for her character and is one of the main reasons for her anger, jealousy, and why she became a villain in the first place. And lastly, across the mountainscape, you see all these night thorns. Now for comparison, the mountains in the back of the Frosted Heights don't have any night thorns. So the ones in the Forgotten Lands were intentionally placed here. And this is where it gets a little bit crazy because we know the night thorns tie into the major Disney Dreamy Valley storyline about the forgetting. Well, the story Sleeping Beauty also circles around thorns or specifically one thorn the spindle of the spinning wheel on which Princess Aurora pricks her finger and falls asleep. Then, when Maleficent is trying to prevent Prince Philip from reaching Aurora, she surrounds the castle in which Aurora sleeps with thorn bushes that Prince Philip must fight his way through. They remind me a lot of night thorns here. We even have night thorns surrounding our dreamlike castle in the game, just as Maleficent's thorns surrounded Aurora's castle. So that got me thinking. It's clear we're going to unlock Maleficent here, but it looks like she is going to have a big part in the Disney Dreamlight Valley storyline, and maybe she is going to be one of the main villains in her story, and one of the reasons the Nightthorns exist in the first place. Perhaps she created them to stop us from getting somewhere, so the question is, what is she protecting? But how does that tie into the pumpkin house in the Forgotten Lands? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> First, a look at the pumpkin house on its own. Immediately, so many of us were thinking this has to do with the movie Cinderella. So naturally, a lot of us were speculating this pumpkin house is either home to Cinderella or to Fairy Godmother. But which one is it? To answer that, let's look at the Forgotten Lands as a whole. So far, we've seen so many hints at Maleficent here. And then there's this seemingly unrelated pumpkin house. Well, it actually could be related. Maleficent is first and foremost a fairy, an evil fairy. So what a great juxtaposition it would be for a good fairy, Cinderella's fairy godmother, to live in this house in the Forgotten Lands, so close to Maleficent's home. The whole atmosphere of the Forgotten Lands is very magical, shown by their use of the color purple for the plants here, which we know would usually be green. So I believe it's unquestionable that the pumpkin house belongs to none other than Miss Fairy Godmother herself. And up on that mountain in the background lives the mistress of evil, Maleficent. 
I'm so excited for what's to come and I love all the hints scattered throughout the game. Let me know what you think of my theory in the comments and if you agree with it. I'll see you all in my next video and I would greatly appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. So we'll see you all later. Bye for now.